very hands-on webinar I'm going to give to you today. Um, I made a short, um, a tiny URL, which is my complete presentation. So, um, uh, Ramon, if you can put this in the link, that would be really good because then the people can follow it also because, because it's hands-on. I will explain in the make code, but if you want to see the code right away, you can see, look at the at the, the presentation. So do you have the link, Ramon? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I already uh, copied it down. Very good, very good. Yes. So I will, uh, well, I'm Paulina Maas. I'm a leading teacher in, uh, in a, an, an AU coding leading teacher. I'm an ICT teacher in uh, in the Netherlands, and I started with a computer when the computer were really big, and not so many people did it. So that is uh, more than 25 years ago. Uh, at this moment, I teach ICT at a school for visual impaired students. Here they are reading Braille on the cards where they code themselves. If you can see here at the card, you can see that. Here is the beautiful picture we took last year from the Code Week class 219. I'm really still happy. My, my face is smiling if I think back of the beautiful week we had together. And here I am with Peter Heldens. Um, I, um, we are I'm writing a lot of material for the microbit with him, and here we give a lecture in uh, in the UK last year about the first microbit uh, convention, and we could give we gave the keynote over there. And really, I love to make like the making things with the microbit and teaching children how to use the code. And in the middle picture, you see me with a very big project where we made this huge LED screen. And I thought 500, I, I thought like uh, 20 teachers, and they thought 500 uh, students how to use the, the matrix. You can see on my back, I have the matrix. And I'm a mother of four children. They are all a bit older now, and they're having all boyfriends and girlfriends. So this was last year. Um, I first want to know from you from uh, what what is uh, what do you do? Do you know the micro bits or have you used something or do you know nothing about the micro bits? So I make like a menti menti.com and I see Ramon is typing already in it. So if you can tip it, if you can use it, that would be really good to see. And then. Um, Then I, then I know what kind of audience uh, that I have. Let me see. Have you worked with the mic a bit? A few of them they have, three of them have, one and one of them is doing anything else. So. You can fill it in later if you want to. So it's still the same. So that is okay. Then I know kind of what I have in the oh, two, haven't never used it. Are there more people who can answer? Five, they have used it. Okay, I will continue with the presentation over here. Yeah. Yeah, let me give some background information. Uh, Jean Piaget, he said, he is like an, um, a psycholo, he, he is teaching children, he, he wrote a lot of material about how children can learn. And he always said that children have a real understanding only when they invented themselves. So when they really invented themselves, they think about, wow, that is how it's working. So they have really have to do it themselves. And he says there are a different kind of stage where children can develop. 
So they got like the sensomotory stage is really in the beginning, like, like for a baby, a really young baby. And if you compare it with the micro bit, then it is really, you know, after this, uh, after this webinar, you will pass over to the next stage, the pre-operational stage. So now today we're going to learn about what is the micro bit? How can I code the micro bit? How is the micro bit working? So really the basic. And then the next stage will be how do you attach cables to the micro bit? How you can attach like a servo motor, a LED light to it. So that's really still very basic. And then the next stage is the concrete operational stage. And that is where you more think about, okay, what can I do? What can I hack or what can I make? Or how can I use the micro bit in something? And then in the formal operational stage, then you really invent something, really invent something new. You cannot go from the sensor stage immediately to the formal operational stage. That is impossible. You really have to get all those steps. And sometimes the steps will take maybe a few weeks or a few months or maybe longer. So then you have to take the time and that will be the same with your students. They always want to make the very difficult parts of it with the micro bit, but you have to start in the beginning. So that means that you all also when you teach the beginning of the micro bit, you have to know what can the micro bit do for me? And you have to try to keep them in in a basic level that they really understand how the micro bit is working so you can continue to a next level. That is really important and difficult, of course, because they see these cool things and they always want to make it. But you have to make sure that they stay together and first learn the basic of it and then you go to the next stage. Yeah, Seymour Papert, he is one of, he invented the beginning of uh, coding for children and that was in 1960 already. And he always said children learn the best when they are actively engaged in constructing something that has a personal meaning, like a poem, a robot, a sandcastle or a computer program. So you really have to ask if they know the beginning of the micro bit, what are you going to make now? So if they make some basic things, then they have to invent something new. And Seymour Papert, he studied under, under Jean Piaget, so he really understands how it, how it, how it works and how it is working. And uh, Seymour Papert, he, he sadly passed away like two years ago, but really he's on the basic of coding with children. And you can still find the PDF, the, the, uh, the book he wrote, um, I think it's 21 things what children have to learn with the computer. Do you know that, Ramon? It's really old and very good. You still can find it on the internet. Do you know that? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes, I know. It, it, yeah. It's on my reading list for one of yes. my holidays. It's, yes, it's yeah. a little bit complicated, I believe. Okay, yeah. But you still can find it. So that's the original note. And that was in 1960 already. So people sometimes said, oh, you do all those cool things with children. And then I said, you know, it's almost 60 years old already. They did it 60 years ago already. So let's go. Well, the micro bit. The micro bit is launched in 2015 in the UK. And it is really designed for uh, how we can teach children how to code. You know, Scratch, but after Scratch, what we can do more with coding. And because the micro bit is designed also to go partly to a scripting language, you can really make the step from block coding to scripting. And the micro bit is now in 60 countries and it, it sold a lot of micro bits are being sold worldwide. Uh, last summer, the new version number three, version number three of the May code was launched and it's getting more and more beautiful state beautiful features with it. And sometimes people say, you know, the micro bit is really fun and I think it's going to stay because so many things will pop up in the market and then you see it's very popular, maybe for half a year or a year and then you see it everywhere and then it goes away. 
but the microbit is here for now for almost is for five years already and i really think it's going to stay and this morning i was really i was happy to see that they announced the new microbit and the micro the new microbit has sound and also it got the sound sensor with it so you can shout to it and he will react to it so he has another input on it and the price will be the same so that's really good and i think they will be available in november something so that's the first thing I'm going to get, I hope, when it is there. Yeah, here you see the micro bit. You know, the micro bit has 25 LED lights in the front, has two buttons, an A button and a B button. On the top, there's a USB connector. And on the back, you see all those cool things. You got the processor, of course, you got the compass, an accelerometer, a reset button, and battery socket. He got radio and Bluetooth on it. And on the button, he got connections to get like the crocodile clips connected to it so you can connect more things. And in the front, you have like a light sensor already on it and you got the temperature. So those are really the basic inputs which are already on the micro bit. Do you have a question already or is it working okay, Ramon? Yeah. I think everyone is uh, is paying uh, a lot of attention. That is uh, good. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, you can code the micro bits in different kind of ways. Here you see on the left button, you see that you can code a mic with online make code environment. You got all the block environment, but also you can code it in JavaScript and Python. Today we're going to only use the make code environment. Here on the right, you can download an app to code a micro bit with your phone or um, with, oh, this is the, the Windows app. Here is the app you can download on your phone or on your tablet to, uh, down, uh, to, to code a micro bit. And then you send the code over by Bluetooth. You can code the micro bit with Scratch. So you have like a combination of a scratch, a scratch game you make uh, instant on, on the computer or on your digi board. And then you can use the micro bit to really to play a game. And on the right, you can code the micro bit with micro Python. Then you got all those F, uh, extra cool advantages what you can use. So different kind of ways to code a micro bit. Yeah. So now we are going to the practical part of the micro bit code the micro bit and i want you all to join in what you are doing with the micro bit so we're really going to hands on so open an other internet connection go to the make code website and then uh, click on the micro bit i will do the same so the presentation what's in there already you can see what I will do with you together. So if you cannot follow it, you can always look at the presentation, but I will do it hands on very slowly. So you will all can make the things together. And the best thing about this webinar is that for today, you don't use, you don't have to use a micro bit. You can, everything you can do in the, in, um, in the online environment. So I will close this presentation now. All those screens. Yes. I'm so, Polina, to, to, yes. to be sure, you go, you went to makecode.org. Yeah, the makecode.org, and then I choose micro bit. Yeah. If you look here on the makeo.org, it is in Dutch here, but it's in when it is with Jordi, it's in your own language. So here is the micro bit. Here is the arcade that you can make like an arcade game. You really you even can buy those small arcade and make a game. So children love it. And here you have the playground from Adafruit and Minecraft and then uh, Lego and Wonder. And this is the chibi chip that is from Singapore. It is also a cool, a small computer, but we will focus today on the micro bit. So when you go into the micro bit, yeah, here you can see if you have never done it before, 
then this will be all empty. With me is, of course, lots of programs I made or for things I did together. But now we're going to start today with a new project. This is new in the new in the newest version from this summer. You click on new project and you have to give it a name. So here I will go say first project. And I can say create. Now I'm in the make code environment. Here I can see. Yes, it's working. Here I can see all the blocks, what I can use. And this is like a preview I can see. Here you can see it is a block. And here you can see JavaScript or I can choose Python. This is new from this summer that you can choose immediately for JavaScript or Python if you want to make it. And here you can choose your language. Today I put it on English, but here you can choose another language or you can do something else. So we were going to do a really basic function. If you have never done it before, then, then it will be really fun. On the start, I will put in always like a show icon. So I go to basic, I click on show icon, and I drag it into my on start, and it will click like a puzzle piece. Here I can choose an other icon. For instance, I will use the ducky. And in the preview, you see you have to wait a bit, but then in the preview you will see that the ducky will appear. So that, that happened very quickly. And then, for instance, I want to use an input. I use the input on button A pressed. So if I press button A, I will go to the basic and I will say show string and I will say code week. If I press here button A, I really have to press here on the button. And then you see the text will appear. It's code week. You see? You can put in anything what you have, what you want to do. I want to have another input. I want to have like the input on B. When I press B and I want to have a number. So I go to show number again. I go show number and I here I'm going to put in my lucky number, which is nine. And if I press here, the number will appear. So I got on A, I got text. Code week. And on B, I have a number. So now what kind of input do I can I do more? I can use an input. If I press here button A, you see this will appear gray because there is already a button A. So I have to change here this one to A, B. And then you see this button is appearing. Wow, that is cool. That's appearing right away. And here I say with the basic, I will make a small animation. For instance, I will get an, an heart. I can duplicate this with my right button. And I choose an other heart. And here I can press AB and the heart will come, but it will come only one time. And I want to have that in a repetition, of course, in a loop. So here is the loop and I say repeat four times. And I can drag it over here, you see? Bam, drag it over. And now you see it will appear and it will go four times. So what is a cool input to is the shake. Here is the shake. I don't didn't don't need to forever. I put it, I can drag it here and then you see um, um, this will appear and I can put it away. So here I say on the shake, I want to have a number. So I say here a show number. Here you see is the shake. So if I press shake, it will come to now to zero. But what will I put in? I will put in like a math function. And here is 
a pick random. And then you see this is also cool in the new version. You see? You can see that it is going in as a pick random from one till six. And I have a dice. Here you say shake three, five, four. So very easy. You can make like a dice like this. And if I go here to JavaScript, you see immediately that all the functions are in JavaScript, or I can even say it is in Python. And I can change code week 2020. I can go back to blocks. And you see, he changed it. So, and if I make a lesson for my students, yeah, you always want to make like a beautiful print screen, which is sometimes difficult to make, but in the micro bit code in the new version, you can press your right button and then you can say, take a snap snapshot. So I take a snapshot and there is a beautiful uh, GPG or PNG, what you can use in your, um, in your lesson. So this is the basic function. This is number one. Now we're going to make, you can save it. You don't have to, you, you don't have to save it here. You can say save. Do you have a question? Hi. 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 Um, someone is asking, uh, the um, video is moving, but the screen seems frozen. Is it okay. only me? Was the question I had in the, in the chat. Okay. Is the is it still frozen or can can they see the code now i think it is only with one participant oh it's okay now yes oh, it's okay now okay yes no. so maybe, continue. maybe i went too quickly that's possible yeah okay here now we we um we're going to make a new project so i press on home and then you see, here is my first project, the project I just made. So as long as you keep the cookies on your computer, this will be all there. You can always look your webinar. You can always uh, go back to your old code. And I say new projects and I say sound. The kids always love to make sound, of course. So a new screen again, a new project again, here always on start and forever, that will be always there. On the basic, I put in like a show icon because then I know when I put my new code on the micro bit, then you know it is the new code. Yeah. Another input on button A pressed. Yeah. I want to have music. And if you go to the music, you see that this is new. This is a new play melody and it's really colorful. So I put it in, in here and I can press here. And I can say. can even uh, get the deep the the beats from it can get it higher so it will go quicker you see and you see now when we have music you see here are two cables coming and here is a head jack to put in your ear so then you can see how do I connect my cables to my head jack or to my PA. So I will come later to all the things you can, can use. If I press A, and I of course can put another melody under there. And I, for instance, can go to get to the gallery and I can say, uh, I like Paris. And if I press now A again, mm -hmm. 
You see, that was the second melody. It came immediately. So this is really the basic where you can start with. But of course, we can use the tones what we really can pick. Here, A, I have A already, so I change A into B. Go to music and I say play tone for one beat. For instance, and I can say I want to copy this with my right button, duplicate, and I will change B, B into EB, and I will use this for half a beat. So I have a long tone and a short tone. So here is a long tone, and here is the short. And this you can use to make like a Morse lesson, a Morse code lesson. And I made this lesson for the AU and it's on the code website in 29 languages. So you can use this and this is only the simple code and they can uh, send a secret message by only using with the code. For instance, uh, send an SOS or use the Vive or Victory and you can make a link to a history lesson when they use the Morse code, when was it and how is it working? So, one more thing, I can use the shake. And I can make like a song. Maybe you play the piano, there's usually one or two p uh, children who play the piano or uh, can read notes. So you can say, we're going to make the song from Mary Had a Little Lamb. So here I say play tone, and I say go to the E, and I can say duplicate. Maybe you can hear it already. So. And I know if I hear here, I have to repeat the, this one three times. So I can use the loop and I say repeat three times. And then I will listen again. So that is really close to each other. So what I do, I want a pause there too, like a pause. And I will listen again, you know, I try it and I play it and I edit it. No, that's not so beautiful, yeah? But maybe here. That is too long, so I have to change it to 50, I think, 50 milliseconds, yeah. So that's a, that's a little bit better. So you can continue doing this and make a, like um, a project that everybody can make their own song or make their own music or do a project by Morse code or something else. So I will do a, sound, um, a save again and I will go to the next project. Or do you have any questions, Ramon? Yes, Paulina, uh, uh, I have a question. Uh, oh. I, I can imagine that I'm doing this with a classroom full of students who are all producing the most beautiful songs. Mm -hmm. How can I limit the amount of, um, of uh, sounds in my classroom? You said yeah. something about using a headset. Yeah, it is, it is better to use a headset to do this, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I usually, uh, and I have this old speaker, which I hacked from the computer. And then you can use, you know, in the end, when they all made their beautiful song, you can say, okay, a few can have a try on my big speaker. And then it's really fun to do that, yeah. But when they are creating their songs, you hear here too, and you see here too, that I have to do it and try it and try it and try it till it is okay. 
So, and I even had a few students and they made like a canon together, you know, the, the sounds went into each other. So that was really difficult. Yeah. And they connected the micro, micro bits to do that. So that's what I want to show now. Or do, are there more questions? Um, I believe there are no questions at the moment. This is a, a gentle reminder for everyone. There are no stupid questions. Uh, we yeah. are here to learn. Yeah. Uh, uh, do not hesitate to ask any questions to uh, to Paulina. No, because I'm here to answer all the questions. Okay, I go home again because I'm going to make a new project again. And and then I say I'm going to make a project by connecting two microbits together, and we're going to share data together. I have to make it a little bit smaller. Yes. Okay, which is important on, of course, on the basic show an icon. So, you know, that the code you put on is okay. Oh, actually this one, let's say this is, and now we're going to use the radio. And here is radio set group to one. I use this. Yeah, but here. You can use 256 different kind of groups. So that means that you can have 256 different kind of groups where they can have like communication together. And on one microbit, I think there can be more than 1000 microbits connected. So this radio set group, you have to be set when you do this in the classroom, you have to say, okay, here you two are a group number one, you are group number two, you are group number three, etc. And then till everybody has their own group. Because uh, that this is important because when you say radio set group one, then those micro bits, we are all on the same group, they will con um, co communicate with each other. I say here on button A pressed, I say radio, um, send a number. I'm going to send just a number. So only when I press A, he will send something. I will do not make complicated with sending different kind of things, but with num with when I press A, he will send a number. Yeah. So, and then of course I have to say on radio, when I received a number here, when I receive a number, I have to do something, of course. So what will I do? I will make like uh, an animation again. Let's make something nice. And of course, I will do a small loop over it. And I can check here now in the preview, will it work? I press A and you see another micro bit will appear. You see, it's appearing. And here, when I press, this one will react. But they can be like 70 meters apart from two micro bits. So as long as they are in one room and they are not in different kind of houses, 70 meters, it will work. So this is really cool. Yeah. But also this will, because the same code is on both of the micro bits. When I press here, A, the other one will react. You see? So this is how you can connect. But you can connect also, you can send a string too. So if I look here, if I press like, if I press B, B I go to the radio and I want to say radio, send a string. And here. Just a, a simple question, uh, Paulina. Yes. What's the difference between a number and a string? A string are letters. He can send letters. And with a number, he will send a number, what the micro bit will pick up. So you can see what will happen now. Here I can say, on radio, receiving a string, basic, here I have to use the string, show string, and here I can drag the variable string, which is there now, in here. 
So when I press B, the second microbit will appear, and here I can hear love will appear. And I can make another string. When I press A, A, B. For instance, I press code week. So on B, I have love. And on AB, I have code week. You see? And on A, I still have like the animation. So this is how you can connect two kind of uh, micro bits. We have uh, questions. Yeah. There are a few coming in. Okay. Chris, Chris is uh, um, uh, warning us about uh, ear damage. So oh. always, always test uh, a headset outside of okay. your ears, I believe. Otherwise, okay, you good. have uh, a, a, a problem. Okay. And, and, so, and someone is asking how to connect your micro bits to speakers uh, in the classroom. Okay. <laughs> to the speaker in the classroom on the digiboard. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, then it has. Um, no, that's not. No, I don't think that will work. No, no, no. But uh, I, I had like this old computer with cables uh, to put in the computer and I hacked those cables and then I just checked how to connect it to the micro bit because when you use the when you use sounds on the micro bit, you always have to use the zero and the ground. And it doesn't matter if you put it, um, uh, how you put it, as long as they are on the zero and the ground, it will work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think the resource I shared in the chat with the um, Morse code uh, uh, exercise, I think there's a small picture in it, how to connect a micro jack to, yeah. the, to the micro bit. Yes. I put it, uh, yes, I put it in, yes. And there's still one more question. Mm -hmm. um, do you have some ideas for games based on microbit radio? That's a fun microbit one. Microbit radio. Uh, yeah, you can you can play hide and seek with the microbit. And also, uh, we have this small uh, click game when they click on the microbit, and when you click, there is a little LED light will appear. But when the other person will click, a LED light will disappear on your micro bits. So that's always fun to see how that is working. Yeah, because they have to click on the A to get their own lights and have to click also on the B to remove the lights of the other one. And when the all the lights are full on the micro bit, the 25 lights are lit up, then that person has won. Yeah. So if I look at the time, I want to make a game with you. We still, I still have some things to show. So if I hope there is time to do that, because the game, making the game is fun, yeah? New projects, I say game. Yes, on start. For now, there is, when you look at here at advanced, you see there are more functions coming up. You see, so here is the game. And then here I can say. Oh, I, sorry, I, I first had to make a variable. Sorry. Yeah. I have a player. And also, so the variable and the vari variables, you can make like different kind of variables, what you can use in the game. So here I make a player, I say, I set the player and I go to the game and I say, create a sprite on 2-2. Then you can see one light will let up here in the middle because this is 2-2 when you hold your mouse layer, you can see the put two two, but I wanted to start here. So not on the X2 and the A2, but on the X will be a two, but the A will be four. Then you see it is over here. Yeah. And I want to use like an A button and a B button to move the player to the left and to the right. Here I can say on button A pressed. 
I go to the game again. And here is move, change. Not a sprite, but here I choose the player, change the player by minus one. It means it goes that way. So here, if I can place here, you see, of course, I need a B2. So go the other side. I can say duplicate. When I press B, let's see what's happening. I can go to the right and I can go to the left, to the right and to the left. So this is a small basic already how it will appear. Now, we're going to use the forever because I want to have like an enemy falling down from the sky. So I make a new variable and let's call it enemy. And here in the forever, I first say it has to come in a pause. So you have to wait every time in a variable that in a very variable time. So I say pick random between 2000 and 4000 milliseconds. So then it will come. And I get create the enemy. Here, create the enemy, but not at zero, but I also have to create like an create a sprite. Create a sprite. And then not here. And then I want to have it here creating here. So the A has to be zero because this is zero and this is four. This is when I this is zero zero and this is four four. So it has to create here, but not always on the number two, not always in the middle, but he has to go again, pick random between zero and four. Now you will see, it will appear, you see? And then another will, one will appear. So I want to make a loop, a loop with four, because I want to go, let it go down. So base, back a pause for 200 milliseconds. And then here the game. Uh, change not to sprite, but the enemy, change the enemy and change the eye with one and see what happens. There it goes. You see? Yes. So that is the beginning already. Now, of course, we have to say, if you're on the button, you have to delete it. So I go to logic again, and here I say, if I go again to game, and then here is one, if And here I say, if the player is touching the enemy, then, of course, game over. Here it is, game over. See what's happening. Bam, game over immediately. You see? But what I can do too, oh, and I can say pause. So if it is here on the button, I can say uh, change score by A, and I can say delete the enemy. 
So we have a game. Point. Point. You see? This is really a basic game what you can make. I have in the presentation, I have a little bit more adding to it. So you can really make it into a game where you can win and lose. But this is already already a lot of fun to make. And you lose different kind of things because you have to make a variable. You use like the random. Uh, you have to use a logic firm. You have to use like a loop. So many things about coding and computational thinking you find in this small game. So what I want to do is a little bit more explaining. So I see, or, or do you have a question, Ramon? Um, I believe uh, everyone is still uh, happy. Uh, no, thank you. This was, this, this was yeah. a very nice way to use uh, a lot of complicated uh, uh, functions. Yes. And a very simple way. Yeah, if you um, can see it is it's just fit on one one small paper. So it's not really boring to make it. So I think and they under, they will understand it. This is important. They can read the code. Yeah. And I think everyone is now uh, in the chat saying that's a nice game and a very uh, cool way to use the micro bit. There's yes. one uh, one question coming in. What mm -hmm. is the age of the students who are building this? Um, I think this is around 12. Yeah. So the 10, the 10 years old, they're, they are too young to do it. So 12, 13, 14, because they have to understand what a, varia what a variable is, how random is working, but they would love to do that. But it's really, um, uh, if you can see in Piaget, it is like the second or the third stage. So really they have to do some understanding about the micro bit. But still, you don't need a micro bit. It is more fun to use like a real life micro bit, but you can still do it here in the in the preview. So now what I want to do is I go a little bit further to explain a little bit more. So I every time I use like here the the save. Yeah. But of course, if I connect a micro bit to the, my computer, you can hear like a click. It is connected now. And then here on this small dot, you can see like pair device. You can say pair device. And I say here pair device and I can use you can see here and I use the download and I can play it on my micro bit. Yeah. So this pairing and this download is really new. This is really new. The only thing you have to do is make sure that the micro bit firmware is really updated. And that is a simple trick what you can do. I have shown it in the I have shown it in my presentation, so that's not so hard to do. And you see, I opened here the advanced button, but I I even can go here to the extensions because you can buy really lots of things for the micro bit, which you can use here, NeoPixels or Servo Motor, or you can buy the Bitbot or the McQueen or other cars. And if I say uh, for instance, I want to use a servo motor. I can click on here. And you see there are more blocks now here, the servo. And there you can attach the servo motor. So for instance, I want to get a servo motor on start. This is a little stupid, but you will see what will happen. You will see the servo motor in your preview already. So if I say here, like extensions, I want to add the new pixels. You see the new pixels here appear. And if I can say set strip neo pixel on P number two, you see the neo pixels will appear too. So this is really nice to do. Yeah. I see Chris has a remark. And um, now I want to go back to my presentation because I still have to do some, uh, give you some information, how you can do it in the in the classroom. Yeah. Here you are. Yeah. So I made like uh, three lessons for the code week on the learning bits, and they are translated in uh, twenty-seven or twenty-nine languages. 
and it is like the Morse code lesson, uh, how to make an escape room with a micro bit and how to make an automata. So you can download that on the code week and then you can have fun doing that in your class. So the Morse code lesson is 10 till 12. The escape room is 12 till 14. And the, or making an automata is a little bit older because making an automata is not very easy. You really have to do it and then connect a servo, a 360 servo motor to it. So it is fun to do, but it is really a challenge. Yeah. And I think when I saw the micro bit, I was in love immediately with it because I was reading a lot and using computational thinking very often in my classrooms. And when I saw the micro bit, I thought, you know, it's just, everything is in here because the micro bit is my computer and I want to make something with it. And I use this computer and I have to code my, my micro bit to make it, to really make it. And for me, it was really an eye opener. You know, the micro bit is really something what you can use for computational thinking, which is really important. And always think big, but start really small. Start with a small thing and then make it bigger and bigger and bigger. You don't use, you don't have to use and buy very complicated packages to make it because you can connect like a small LED light or a Christmas light to your micro bit and you have something already. So you can connect like Christmas light now to your micro bit and put it in your pumpkin, which is standing maybe outside. And then your pumpkin will be light up with a micro bit and a Christmas light. And you can even add that, uh, add some music to it. Some, so that is important. So if you're going to have a shop, if you have some money to spend in your classroom, I think for the classroom or for the whole school, because you usually use it only like with one class class at the same time, you need like 10 micro bits and a tip buy the new micro bits. Wait a little bit, wait one month longer and get the new micro bits. Get some crocodile clips. And if you have the new micro bits, you don't even use have to use the piezo anymore because the music is on the micro bit and get some LED lights. You can have the very cheap one, it doesn't matter. And then you can go ahead and making very simple projects with carton, aluminium foil, glue, tape, felt, paper, scissors. You can use anything you see in the classroom. And then you see they really have fun and they make something and they learn something and they use the micro bit really to use the uh, computational thinking. You know, I'm having standing, I'm having this all standing here to show you, but I'm afraid it's no time to do that anymore. Uh, but you can see, I always use like carton and other things. So maybe I can show a few things here or are there any questions, um, Ramon? Yeah. At the moment, there are no, uh, no questions. Okay. Then I want to show you one more because uh, coming Thursday, uh, Peter Heldens and I, we will be giving a webinar again at, uh, at 1900 hours, so a little bit later. And then we're going to talk about the microbit stream where you can stream your lesson to your students. And uh, that will that Peter will do that. And I will talk about the microbit classroom, how you can make like a classroom with a microbit and send the code to your students and you can see how they make their code. So that will be interesting, I guess. So you can enroll to it and then um, I will see. Yes. A, uh, a short question. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, someone is asking, can the micro bit be taught in online lessons? Yes, yes. That's what we're going to do on uh, Thursday. Then uh, we, we will show micro bit stream where you really can do like a streaming lesson with the micro bit and uh, with a micro bit classroom. You can add students to it and the students, uh, they have to add a, put in a code and go to a website and they are immediately in the in the in the code what they want to do. So, um, yeah, for instance, if you want to make simple things, yeah, of course, it's not never working eh, when you have to show it. Yeah. 
Oh, you, yes. can, you can tell something about your nice ears. I can yeah, see yeah. that there's a... Here, it is really simple to make just as an in unicorn with a LED light in there. And if I press A, the light will go on. You see? And on the back is just aluminium foil and some paper and some crocodile clip. And the next stage, what you can do is you can hack your bar. You can hack a Barbie. <laughs> and then it is, has this, the code is kind of the same, but it is much more fun. And of course, if you d will do this and you say to your class, get the Barbie of your sister and we're going to hack it, they always will have fun to do that. Yeah. You can make those very beautiful. You can buy those very beautiful things and then you can code really how you can code this. This is a, this is like a um, cubetto, it is called, so you can buy those things. But also you can you can make, if you want to, just a simple car with some car carton, ping pong balls, yeah, and surf uh, surfer motors on here and some uh, just some wood. And this is on top is a CD. And always I use like the, uh, the battery. Uh, I don't use the battery pack for the surfer motor, but I always lose like, um, I always forget the name, a power bank for the surfer motor. So those are some things I have standing here, of course, to March. Are there more questions? Well, in the, in the moment, not. I just shared in the, um, uh, in the chat the link to the upcoming uh, webinar on Thursday. Very good. The, uh, uh, online microbit uh, session. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and we are getting a lot of uh, uh, compliments for your presentation. <laughs> um, Georgia is complimenting you on the usage of a power bank. I yes. think it's, it's, it's a very nice, nice way yeah. to power your device. Yes, uh, it is. Yeah. And Annika is saying it's a great presentation. She can tell that we have a lot of fun with it. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. I think we are going to uh, 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 wrap this uh, session up. Yes, thank yes. you. Yeah. Um, sh shall I say the goodbyes or do you want to say the goodbyes? Well, it was really nice that you were all <laughs> here. I would I love to present do this presentation and show you some basic things about the micro bit because I really think it is a very nice uh, uh, small computer where you can teach coding and computational thinking with your student and also add some creativity and coding and and as especially having fun making things so my uh, my students always have fun when i come with the micro bit they say oh we're going to do the micro bit we will have fun <laughs> so that is important i guess yeah it's, it's very well, thank important. you very much and i hope to see you all on thursday and we have the whole week webinars haven't we ramon we have a lot of week, every a... evening every evening we have like webinars here uh, Pauline and I, we uh, designed a, uh, a short uh, a program uh, for every evening in the Code Week. Uh, there's Absolutely. going to be an online event. Um, and I would like to uh, point out uh, two uh, webinars in, uh, in particular. It's the one on Thursday. It's the in-depth session with the microbit. Yes. I'm really going to, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, one, uh, one personal favorite of mine is the Haiti Code session. It's yeah. a, a session that can uh, continue after learning a blockly based programming language. It's yes. a it's a very short course in how to learn to program in Python when the um, background knowledge is only a blockly based uh, programming language. It's completely new. It's uh, called Haiti uh, on HaitiCode.org. I'm sharing the link now in the in the chat for the session. Uh, it's on Wednesday. It's uh, also at seven. Oh, it's uh, it's at seven, sorry. It's seven, yeah. Yes, and Annika is telling us, I wish I was in school again. And I think that <laughs> I, I have the same yes. problem. I'm a, I'm a little bit jealous of my students. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, yes. shall we uh, wave you. to the camera yes. to enter recording? Thank you, thank you, thank you.